Now here next point is about uh, increasing and decreasing functions. We'll discuss with the help of derivatives. You know this is a part of application of derivatives. If you recall you already studied like uh, sine function is increasing in uh, you know first and uh, uh, fourth quadrant first and in the fourth quadrant if you remember right. now what we mean by increasing function if graph of the function goes up like this this, uh, this is an example of increasing function we denote by this upward arrow increasing function graph goes up if I have like this so this is an example of uh, decreasing function here graph comes down so this is a decreasing function this is precise meaning of increasing and decreasing function we denote by this downward arrow graph goes up increasing function graph comes down decreasing function that we know about trigonometric functions for example 10 is always an increasing function graph of 10 function always goes up you know if you just look at it, the graph of the 10 function, it, look, it looks like this. It passes through region. You see, if you move from left to right, graph always goes up. This is a rough graph of 10 function. So it's always an increasing function. Whereas cot is always a decreasing function. Fine, that, that we know from trigonometric functions. Okay, but if I have a graph like this here, see, uh, here this is a domain for example in some portion here graph goes up here graph comes down here again graph goes up so if I take the domain as from this to this so here we say that this is neither increasing nor decreasing right when we say that it's an increasing that means throughout the domain the graph should goes up when we say that it's decreasing, that means throughout the domain graph comes down. Neither increasing, no decreasing means in some portion graph goes up, so it's increasing. And in the other portion again graph comes down and so on. So such a function is said to be neither increasing nor decreasing. Here in 10 function graph goes up, so it's an increasing function. Now uh, if you just recall the definition which you did in 11th standard, this is a definition of increasing function. If for every x1, x2 in the domain, whenever x1 greater than x2, if you are given, and if you apply the function here, if you apply the function, then inequality must remain same. Or you may be having equals to also. But the order of inequality is same. Greater, greater. If this happens, then f is called increasing. Then here, f is called uh, increasing function increasing function f is called increasing what inequality remains same that's a basic way to understand this sometimes you may have like this here again x1 greater than x2 you have started with this it implies f of x1 is strictly greater than f of x2 so we are not having equality here values of the function might be equal at some point then here f is called sometimes strictly increasing strictly increasing not much difference but this word is used in your textbook that's what i'm telling you increasing means function might be equal at some point so we are writing here greater than or equal to here we are saying strictly greater than so it's called the strictly increasing function but more or less the meaning is this graph goes up okay now same concept for decreasing function if x1 greater than x2 it implies here f of x1 here f of x2 now you notice here greater sign but inequality get reversed right then we say that f is decreasing function f is called decreasing function f is called decreasing Decreasing function means what? Inequality get reversed. You see, you had started with greater, greater than or equal to. Greater sign, greater sign. Greater, but here it is, it, you can take less than, then here order will be reversed. 
right? It means whenever values increases, the value of the function decreases. Here as value increases, the value of the function also increases. So a decreasing function. And uh, uh, again, if I have like this, uh, if x1 greater than x2, it implies f of x1. Inequality is of course reversed, but you have strict sign f of x1 is less than f of x2 then then f is called f is called uh, strictly decreasing function f is called strictly decreasing function strictly decreasing function fine so decreasing and strictly decreasing not much difference as i told you here values of the function might be equal at some point here values of the function are always different that's the difference fine so simple way to understand increasing function means what when you apply the function inequality remains same it means increasing when you apply the function inequality get reversed what, what, what is the meaning of this as you increase the value of a variable you see if i show it by graph as you move from left to right here as you move from left to right graph comes down means or the value of the function decreases that's why the inequality get reversed so this is a decreasing function you are moving from left to right that means you are increasing values of the variable but what happens to the value of the function decreases so this is an example of a decreasing function value of a function values of a function comes from y-axis you know so here you see graph comes down that means values of the variable y decreases whereas here, uh, for increasing function, I move from left to right. That means I'm increasing the value. You see, here, what happens to the value of the function? Here, one value is here, next value is here, next value. So the value of the function also increases. So this is an example of increasing function. As you increase the value of variable, value of the function increases. Here. As you increase the value of variable, the value of the function decreases. So this is a decreasing function, this is increasing function. Again, the simplest meaning is graph comes down decreasing function, graph goes up increasing function. This is what we know. Uh, this is without derivative. Now we, we want to discuss these things with the help of derivatives. So we have a simple theorem here. Uh, with that theorem, you can check very easily whether a given function is increasing or not. So let's state that theorem now. So here is a simple theorem. We start with a function, let f be a continuous function. That means it has a graph without break, continuous on close interval AB and differentiable function. It should have a derivative, differentiable on open interval AB, right? That means function must have derivatives continuous and differentiable then uh, we have here the first one that says that if f dash x is greater than 0 for every x in the domain then we say that f is increasing f is increasing or you can write strictly increasing f is increasing on the domain on close interval AB. Here domain is this close interval AB. So what's this simple theorem? Check the derivative. If derivative is positive for every x, sometimes equals to 0 will do. Remember, so if derivative is greater than 0 for every x, then f is increasing. So no need to check those inequalities and so on. Same way, if derivative is negative for every x, first derivative then f is decreasing function f is decreasing function decreasing on the domain close into all a b right. so in the entire domain if derivative is positive then function is increasing if the derivative is negative then the function is uh, decreasing so it's like this if i if i have a function like this uh, like there's a function so you see graph goes up if you move from left to right so here its derivative must be positive and if I have a function like this graph comes down so here derivative must be negative 
for decreasing function this is for increasing function so now we have a simple theorem right and here third conclusion of course that is if f dash x is 0 you know if derivative of any function is 0 for every x then f is a constant function it has to be a constant function you know other way around if you have constant function then derivative is always 0 here we wrote in different implication if derivative is 0 then it has to be a constant function derivative is greater than 0 then graph must goes up derivative is less than 0 then graph must comes down right that's all in all about the next exercise everywhere you need to check for these two things right if you're asked for increasing or decreasing get its derivative see that it must be positive or negative for every x in the domain throughout the domain that should be true then we can conclude that whether the function is increasing or decreasing as per the sign of the derivative fine so very simple everywhere just two things you need to ask yourself one is this and the other one is this the entire exercise is just based on these two things so again not a difficult exercise for us 6.2 first question right first two three questions are very simple show that the function fx equals to 3x plus 17 you know it is which function what is this it's a linear function straight line you know on r you are asked what we are asked to show increasing function so get its derivative so f dash x you know here this is 3 as it is 1 17 being constant derivative is 0 so this is just 3 which is always positive for every real number so what is your conclusion therefore f is increasing on r finished that much only these are very trivial questions which you can answer very easily what about next question go to second one there the function is given by what you know e raised to 2x here on which domain it is asked on real numbers on all r so what we do what is our first step get its derivative you know how to find the derivative f dash x by chain rule imagine this as x e raised to x into derivative of 2x which is just 2 and you know exponential function is always positive 2 being positive this is always greater than 0 for every x do you remember chapter number 5 exponential function is always function from r to r plus exponential function never takes negative or zero value so this is always you know positive and uh, therefore what's the conclusion function f is uh, if you want you can use the word strictly also strictly increasing right or you can write just increasing function on r domain is important where you are asked fine okay let's go to third question it is your well-known function question number three which function you are given there sine function you know sine all trigger functions depends upon quadrant we know very well you know where sine is increasing from 11th standard here we want with the help of derivatives so f dash x what's the derivative of sine you know it is cos and in the first question you are asked on 0 to pi by 2 that's the first quadrant there what about cos positive that means f dash x is greater than 0 on this quadrant 0 to pi by 2 what's the meaning of this that is f is increasing on 0 to pi by 2 that is in the first quadrant we know in general the graph of sine function here 0 pi by 2 graph of sine function goes up in the first quadrant that you know very well right so f is increasing in the first quadrant you know it we, we are just doing by differentiation here f dash x is again cos x here for the second sub question but now domain is here which domain you are given pi by 2 to pi fine that's the second quadrant the second quadrant cos is negative so here f dash x is less than 0 because we know cos x is less than 0 in this quadrant 
what is the meaning of this that means fx fx means what sin x is derivative being less than zero it's a decreasing function so in the second quadrant again graph goes down graph comes down you know if it is zero uh, here pi by two let me write pi you know graph is like this so decreasing function in third quadrant you know if i write here three pi by two again graph comes down so decreasing function in the fourth quadrant here graph goes up so we know here in first and the fourth sign is increasing function fine clear not difficult what about the third part here neither increasing nor decreasing in which domain in which domain here that is 0 to pi that is in the first quadrant I already told you in the theory portion here on 0 to pi by 2 on 0 to pi by 2 function fx f dash x is here positive so it's increasing on pi by 2 to pi f dash x is negative that means in decreasing in some part it is increasing in some part it is decreasing right so therefore we say that on 0 to pi f is neither increasing nor decreasing neither increasing when we say that it's increasing that means it has to be increasing throughout the domain no decreasing when we say that it is decreasing that means it has to be decreasing throughout the domain here in some part it is increasing in some part it is decreasing so we say that it is neither increasing nor decreasing right where in the domain 0 to pi that is in the first two quadrants okay let's go to next question now question number four that's a good question you have quadratic function question number four which function you are given here fx equals to 2x square minus 3x there's a quadratic function graph is cup shape you know from 11th standard so in some part it would increase in some part it would decrease so question is what's the question here yeah uh, this is a reversed question get the interval in which the function is increasing and get the interval in which the function is decreasing that's what you are asked okay so we get the derivative first what is the derivative here you know 4x minus 3 fine now uh, if if f dash x is greater than 0 that means you are talking about increasing function it implies 4x minus 3 must be greater than 0 it implies x must be greater than to the other side 4 down greater than 3 by 4 right x must be greater than what 3 by 4 so we can say that here x belongs to which domain value of x is more than 3 by 4 so it goes to 3 by 4 to infinity it's like this you know such things uh, here suppose you have 3 by 4 right? this is 0 x is more than 3 by 4 that is this portion so it goes to plus infinity so if x, x is from 3 by 4 to infinity then the conclusion is f is you can try it increasing or strictly increasing increasing fine so when f is increasing if domain is 3 by 4 to infinity so here answer to the first question is this the function is strictly increasing if if uh, domain is this 3 by 4 to infinity fine so in this portion graph goes up what about now other part second part there it's quite obvious there it has to be uh, less than zero so if f dash x is less than zero uh, it implies uh, as we have discussed there 4x minus 3 is less than zero so x has to be less than 3 by 4 suppose this is 3 by 4 value of x should be less than 3 by 4 that is this portion it goes to minus infinity so here x belongs to what minus infinity to 3 by 4 at 3 by 4 derivative becomes 0 so this is sometimes called turning point so therefore what is the conclusion here the function function uh, here function is decreasing strictly decreasing you can write function is decreasing if uh, 
domain is this from where minus infinity to 3 by 4 fine so that's all in all about the solution you were asked to find the domain where the function is increasing and the domain where the function is decreasing so that's what we did here now uh, if I, just for your information that this is not important for you know examination point of view uh, here 3 by 4 this is 0 3 by 4 is less than 1 like this so in this portion your graph comes down like this and see this is decreasing in this portion at 3 by 4 it becomes 0 and uh, if it is uh, more than 3 by 4 then function is like this it goes up understood at 3 by 4 the derivative of the function is 0 this is just rough behavior not for uh, examination point of view for your information from minus infinity to 3 you see graph comes down decreasing 3 by 4 to infinity graph goes up so it's an increasing function okay so next question number five fifth question that is cubic function you are given fx equals to which function 2x cube minus 3x square minus 36x plus 7 okay. let me differentiate it first this is like the previous question only so here you know this is 6x square minus uh, 6x minus 36 differentiation simple it, at least you can find uh, you know 6 common so x square minus x minus 6 equals to 0 fine now this is a good question such questions can be asked what we'll do here is we we first factorize this and we get the x for which this becomes 0 right the way I'm doing that's a very standard question of uh, doing such quadratic or polynomial questions so I'll just factorize this you know how to factors uh, how to get the factors minus 3 and plus 2 right so at least now you will come to know at 3 derivative will be 0 and minus 2 also derivative is 0 so these are the two turning points where the derivative becomes 0 function change its direction so these are called turning points later on you will realize in the same chapter okay so I'll uh, do in this tabular form like this see this is a real line you can do in the exam also like this here minus 2 here 3 somewhere here so you see entire line is divided in how many different parts one part is this minus infinity to minus 2 then minus 2 to 3 and then uh, 3 to infinity so this we can understand very well how I've decided minus 2 and 3 put equals to 0 so what is x minus 2 what is x 3 so these are the two points where the, its derivative becomes 0 so now uh, I'll just prepare a table here so let me write here domain domain here then I'll write uh, sine of uh, f dash x that is positive or negative and the last column that is uh, increasing or decreasing that's the behavior of the function increasing or decreasing fine we prepare such tabular form in the exam also you can do like this so examiner can understand it very easily okay so here uh, first domain I'll take which one minus infinity to minus 2 that's the first domain minus infinity to minus 2 now what usually we do we pick up any number from this somewhere your minus 3 fine put here if I put minus 3 here this is negative this is negative here second factor if I put minus 3 this is also negative we are deciding sign not the values the so negative negative this is already positive so this is positive so f is increasing f is increasing in which domain f is increasing function have you realized in which domain f is increasing minus 2 minus infinity to minus 2 fine now go to the second domain now you realized how to do second domain is minus 2 to 3 we just decided the sign pick up any number from minus 2 to 3 you can take 0 0 is somewhere here if I put 0 here this is negative 
if I put 0 here this will be positive so this is negative plus minus we are just deciding sign remember value is not important for us so f is decreasing fine okay uh, third domain which is the third domain here third domain is 3 to infinity 3 to infinity pick up any number from 3 to infinity suppose 4 put 4 here 4 minus 3 positive put 4 here again positive so this will be positive so f is here increasing again fine so it's like this again this is not for you know examination point of view just for your reference uh, this is minus 2 this is 3 so minus infinity to minus 2 graph goes up so here in this portion the behavior of function may be like this graph goes up then at minus 2 it will change sign then it's decreasing so in 2 to 3 portion graph comes down like this it may be anywhere it may be over here also I'm ju just showing rough graph and again at 3 graph goes up so it is like this so this is a just rough diagram increasing then decreasing and then increasing this is just rough behavior of the graph no need to draw in the exam just for your information I'm explaining you clear minus infinity to minus 2 graph goes up minus 2 to 3 decreasing you see graph comes down here you can draw exit graph by taking the points from 3 to infinity again graph goes up so uh, now finally just we write the concluding line below this table here so uh, we write like this here let me just write final concluding line here in the uh, fifth question therefore here f is increasing on this domain and f is decreasing decreasing on uh, you can see in the table minus 2 to 3 that's what concluded the solution this is just final concluding line the important one is table for us right is the most important part in this solution is this table you can just show in the table here in the exam also you do it like this right so very easily you can understand even for examiners also it would be easy you can do in form of table like this okay let's see the next question now uh, question number here six see in the sixth question see you are asked it's a copy of fourth and fifth question all are about quadratic and cubic equations you are asked for intervals that's a domain interval means so domain get the domain for which each of this function is increasing or decreasing fine so we'll not do all i'll uh, let's see sixth first one fx equals to its quadratic function x square plus 2x minus 5 right let's differentiate it so you have here 2x plus 2 take 2 common so it will be x plus 1 here now where this becomes 0 at minus 1 so this is minus 1 here fine now your two domains that like the previous question domain and here sine of f dash x and then uh, increasing or decreasing then increasing or decreasing fine okay so which is the first domain tell me first domain which domain minus infinity to minus 1 this portion at minus 1 this becomes 0 pick up any number from here suppose I have taken minus 2 put here so it is minus only one factor so negative so decreasing right it's a quadratic function so it, the graph is cup shaped so in some part it is increasing in the other part it is decreasing then 1 to infinity take 2 here put here so it will be positive 
greater than zero, so increasing function. Fine. So here, uh, for first one, uh, you can say that f is finally concluding line. F is increasing or decreasing f is decreasing let me write here f is decreasing on which domain minus infinity to minus one this domain and f is increasing here f is increasing on which domain you know here uh, minus one to plus infinity right that's final line you were asked for this get the domain or interval minus infinity to minus 1 there the function is decreasing this is the interval where the function is increasing now i'll go to uh, last sub question that is e where the function is this one x plus 1 the whole cube into x minus 3 the whole cube x plus 1 the whole cube Actually, this if you expand it, it would be a polynomial of degree 6. It would be a polynomial of degree 6, remember. But we will not expand it. We will do its derivative directly and uh, we try to answer it. B, it's quadratic. C, it's a cubic as we did earlier. So, maximum you can have 3 domains. D is also quadratic. That's why I directly started with this. Okay. So, what we'll do? The first step is you differentiate it. We'll differentiate using product rule. So I'll keep this one as it is. X plus 1 the whole cube as it is. What is derivative of this? 3 into x minus 3 whole square by chain rule into 1. Plus, plus, now we keep this one as it is. X minus 3 the whole cube as it is. And the differentiation of this one, which is by chain rule 3 into x plus 1 the whole square into 1. This is simply differentiation. Now we just simplify this because we need clearly factors. Right? We need factors. So uh, you can find x plus 1 the whole square common. And same way x minus cube the whole square common. And 3 also you can find common x plus 1 whole square you already taken common so this is x plus 1 3 already taken outside this one you already taken outside plus here this one you have taken outside square you already taken outside here you are just left with x minus 3 so 3 into x plus 1 the whole square x minus 3 the whole square what about this here uh, 2x minus 2 so again you can find 2 common so from the last factor so it will be 6 into x plus 1 the whole square x minus 3 the whole square into x minus 1 f dash x is this finally this is f dash x okay so now you know we need to get the points where this becomes 0. So what are the points? 1 is minus 1 here. At minus 1 it becomes 0. The other point is at 3. And one more is 1. So these are the 3 points where uh, you know f dash x becomes 0. These are the values of x. So what we'll do now? We just represent these 3 points. Minus 1, 1 and 3 on the line. And then immediately we'll get the uh, domains. Right? So... Uh, suppose this is minus 1 here, somewhere we have 0, this is 1, 2 and 3 roughly. So once you present this on the real line, immediately you can see what are the domains. What are the domain here? One domain is this. Which one? Minus infinity to minus 1. This is one domain. Then the other domain is minus 1 to 1. Next domain is 1 to 3. And the next domain is 3 to infinity. So these are the domains. And then what we'll do as we did in that one of the earlier question. I'll write here domain. Right. Then here we'll write the sign of f dash x. We are interested in sign positive or negative. And then finally behavior of the function increasing or decreasing. Increasing or decreasing. 
right that's what we want to do now okay so here uh, let's go for first domain which is the first domain minus infinity to minus one that's the first domain what we do as I told you you pick up any number from this suppose I have taken minus two now this being square whatever it is it will be positive being square it will be always positive if I put minus 2 this will be negative so the entire expression will be negative positive positive negative because you have in two sign here so what's the conclusion here function is decreasing decreasing function decreasing okay go to the next domain minus 1 to 1 pick up any number from minus 1 to 1 for example 0 first two are always positive here because you have square even power if I put 0 here again this is negative so the entire expression will be negative and therefore this is decreasing function this is a decreasing function fine go to the third domain now 1 2 3 third domain is 1 2 3 take any number from 1 2 3 suppose 2 as I told you first both are always positive being square if I take 2 2 minus 1 is 1 so plus so greater than 0 so here positive so increasing function this increasing function okay mm. then last domain 3 to infinity obviously if you pick up any number for example 4 4 minus 1 it will be positive only so positive 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 so this will be greater than 0 and therefore again here uh, you have uh, increasing function fine you can just show in form of table like this okay from the table you can answer it very easily whether sign in each case is positive or negative we are interested in the sign of the f dash x okay now we just write the concluding line so we write here f is uh, increasing for example first one increasing on which domain increasing 1 2 3 and 3 to infinity so you can write directly if you combine this two you can write 1 to infinity this portion at 3 it becomes 0 but that's not important combining this two 1 2 3 3 to infinity and f is decreasing decreasing on which portion this portion minus infinity to minus 1 and minus 1 to 1 so you can merge this two directly here minus infinity to 1 minus infinity to 1 that's final concluding line right this is one of the important example of uh, this exercise which one we did we did uh, last sub question of seventh okay fine the next question uh, you are asked to show that this is increasing throughout the domain domain is this minus infinity to plus one so what you have to do get the dy by dx I don't think so this is difficult for you what's the derivative by chain rule 1 upon 1 plus x into differentiation of this this is 1 how will differentiate this by division rule 2 being constant you can keep as it is differentiation by division rule 2 plus x the whole square here 2 plus x as it is differentiation of x1 minus now here x as it is and differentiation of 2 plus x 2 0 x1 so we have this fine this is differentiation by which rule division rule now question is simplification so here you have upon 2 plus x the whole square if you just simplify this what happens here uh, you see xx will get cancelled here and there in the numerator you are left with how much uh, you xx will goes away this is 2 and this too so it will be just 4 we have this now 1 upon 1 plus x minus 4 upon 2x plus whole square do the cross multiplication simplify 
you will notice that this will be greater than zero. Right? Try this much, not a big task. Remember here, x is greater than minus one. That is there. You need to use this concept somewhere here. Value of x is greater than minus one. And therefore, what's the conclusion? Function is increasing, increasing in the domain, throughout the domain, in the given domain. Domain is, you are already given. Right? This much you need to do. Just do the cross multiplication. Immediately you will see that this will be greater than zero. So that much you can do. Next question, eight. As we did number of such question, what is this? Function fx equals to y equals to, you have x into x minus 2 the whole square. If you want, you can write x square into x minus 2 the whole square. This is actually polynomial of degree 4. How we do? As I did that cube question, you get the f dash x. Do not open this. So x square as it is, differentiation of this. Twice into x minus 2 into 1 by chain rule. Plus x minus 2 the whole square as it is. And differentiation of x square which is 2x. As you know, what we need here? Factors. So what is common here? 1 is 2 common. Then x common. And then x minus 2 common. Fine. So here we are left with 1x and what about the other bracket? Mm. Here we are left with how much? 2 will be taken, we have taken this much common. So plus x minus 2, we are left with just one factor of this. So we have 2 into x into x minus 2 into 2x minus 2. Again you can find 2 common, so this is 4 into x into x minus 2 into x minus 1. So what are the values of x for which f dash x becomes 0? 0, 2 and 1. So these are the three turning points I say or where the derivative becomes 0. 1 is here, 0, 1 is here and 1 more is here. So how many domains now? You know we did it number of times, I will not do it. One domain is minus infinity to 0. The other domain is 0 to 1. Next domain is 1 to 2. And the last domain is what? 2 to this domain, 2 to infinity. Prepare the table. And uh, as I did that question, which question? That cube question. You do like this, the way I did. Is it? Do like this. I'll not repeat. We'll not waste our time. I'm sure you can do the remaining part. So do it. You can do it. Okay. Let's go to next question now. And the next question, you want to show that this is an increasing function in the first quadrant. So what we do? We just differentiate it with respect to theta and we'll show that at the end it should be greater than zero in the first quadrant. Not a difficult task for you, but still I'm doing for you. Division rule here, whole square. This will remain as it is here. 4 into derivative of sine it would be cosine theta minus here now uh, 4 sine theta as it is this is simply division rule you know it from 11 standard differentiation of 2 0 here it is just minus sine theta 2 0 differentiation of cos is minus sine derivative of theta with respect to theta is 1 okay so differentiation is over. Now we just simplify. And we'll see that it has to be greater than 0 in the first quadrant. Okay, so here mm, let me open this. From this to if you want you can take 4 common at least. So here 2 cos theta plus cos squared theta minus minus will be plus 4 already taken outside so sine square theta minus this will multiply with 1 and I'll open simultaneously so 4 plus 4 cos theta plus cos square theta 
upon 2 plus cos theta the whole square fine <laughs> this is just simple algebra I'm sure not big task for you this is you know just one here mm. so let me uh, here open the bracket if I open the bracket this is 8 cos theta this is 1 so plus 4 minus 4 minus 4 cos theta minus cos square theta fine upon 2 plus cos theta the whole square and uh, therefore what we'll get from this this is 8 minus 4 this will get cancelled so 4 cos theta minus cos square theta upon 2 plus cos theta the whole square and uh, can find cos theta common so we'll get the 4 minus cos theta upon 2 plus cos theta the whole square this is your final dy by d theta that's the derivative now what you need to assure that this has to be positive now this is being squared always positive in first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive so this is also positive this is positive this entire expression is positive the question is this you know in first quadrant maximum value of cos is 1 cos never go beyond 1 so 4 minus cos theta is always positive so this is just you can write greater than 0 you can write in a reason that is 4 minus cos theta is always greater than 0 cos theta is always positive no need to write the reason for this because it is already squared the main reason is this only cos never go beyond 1 so 4 minus 1 is always positive you know maximum value of cos and sine is 1 so 4 minus 1 is always positive right? where in the first quadrant on 0 to pi by 2 okay so therefore what's your final conclusion that the function is function is increasing or you can write therefore proved that's what you were asked to prove okay tenth question it's too elementary uh, logarithmic function logarithmic function means what fx equals to log x log x you know domain of log is always r plus with z you can take z can we take zero here no but anyway uh, you are asked here from zero to infinity for derivative it would be useful what's the derivative it is here 1 upon x and which is always greater than 0 because your domain is 0 to infinity which is indirectly r plus you know and therefore uh, fx equals to log x is uh, you can write strictly increasing or just increasing strictly increasing or just increasing on domain domain is 0 to infinity it's two elementary question for us okay next question that's good question you're asked that uh, it's neither increasing nor decreasing on this minus infinity to minus one so can you recall the theory what you need to show you need to show that in some portion it is increasing in the other portion it is decreasing in the domain we already discussed this your function is x square minus x plus 1 which domain you are given minus 1 to 1 you are asked to show that neither increasing nor decreasing so what we'll do we'll see that here in some part of this domain it's increasing and in some part of this it's decreasing so let's differentiate it to x minus 1 where this becomes 0 at half that means this domain is divided in two parts suppose this is minus 1 and this is 1 so somewhere you have half here so what are the domain here minus 1 to 1 by 2 and which is the other domain 1 by 2 to 1 now you will see that in these two different domain do behavior is different minus 1 by 2 to 1 pick up any number put here suppose I'm choosing 0 so it's negative so f dash x is less than 0 in this domain so f is here which function decreasing function f is decreasing here fine okay
pick up any number from 1 by 2 to 1 put here you will notice that the f dash x will be positive so it implies f is decreasing here I'm sorry f is greater than 0 so increasing here increasing function so what you have shown in some portion it is increasing in some portion it is decreasing and therefore what is the conclusion f is neither increasing nor decreasing neither increasing uh, nor decreasing fine we did it earlier twice one more time I did it for you okay for next question now uh, the twelfth question which of the following functions are decreasing on here uh, 0 to pi by 2 it's open interval remember not 0 pi by 2 it's a first quadrant question number 12 here domain is this which domain domain is 0 to pi by 2 right you are given four different functions so one by one you check how you will check by differentiating so in the first one fx is cos x differentiate it what is the derivative of cos minus sign now in first quadrant this is positive you know but you have minus sign here so this is negative right so uh, here the first function let me write a here so here fx equals to cos x is decreasing function is this clear to you why decreasing because its derivative is negative that's why right we did it this is very elementary exercise for you it's decreasing on 0 to pi by 2 go to the second one one more I'll do for you uh, what is the other function that is nothing but cos 2x right so let's see there so here f dash x will be minus sine 2x by chain rule into 2 so let me write like this minus 2 sine 2x okay now here angle is double remember this is a domain for x only so here 2x will be from where to where multiply this with 2 so 0 to pi so now for this function domain becomes 0 to pi which two quadrant first two quadrant in first two quadrants you know by all stc sign is always positive but you have minus sign in front of this so therefore f dash x is again negative because of this minus sign this is positive and therefore what is our conclusion again f is decreasing function f is decreasing where it is decreasing in the given domain that's a 0 to pi by 2 so same way you will try the other two questions we'll go to question number 13 now 13 number there in 13 number we are given which function fx equals to x raised to 100 plus sin x minus 1 what is the question here on which of the following interval is the function given by this decreasing now we have different intervals here 0 to 1 pi by 2 to pi 0 to pi by 2 and none of this we want the interval for which its derivative is negative differentiate this 100 into x raised to 99 what's the derivative of uh, sin x you know it is cos x this is minus 1 okay so now out of this first three options you need to see where this is negative negative that's the question because you are asked for what decreasing you just need to use the concept that the maximum value of this is 1 minimum of minus 1 that much you need to use and then immediately you will realize fine let's see so let's see one by one options 0 to 1 if x values from 0 to 1 then obviously this will be positive and 0 to 1 always fall in first quadrant because this is always less than 1.57 and 1.57 means pi by 2 so this portion is less than first quadrant in first quadrant this is positive 100 into x raised to 99 if x is from 0 to 1 then obviously positive because of the first quadrant cos x is also positive that means f dash x is greater than 0 so here it is increasing so we don't want this 
we want for which f dash x is negative go to the other part which one is the other part other one that is pi by 2 to pi that is x is from pi by 2 to pi this is roughly 1.57 here so mm, x is here more than 1.57 so x raised to 99 is obviously more than you know 1.57 raised to 99 so it has to be more than 1 so 100 into x raised to 99 is minimum 100 so even cos is negative here and cos x is negative but this will be minimum 100 but what's the minimum value of this one minus 1 so if we add this two, this will be again positive so f dash x is greater than 0 understood the way I have explained x is more than pi by 2 pi by 2 means how much 1.57 roughly so x raised to 99 is obviously more than 1 so 100 into x raised to 99 is obviously more than 100 cos x may be negative in this case but it will not go beyond minus 1 even if it is a minus 1 this is 100 so minimum this will be 99 so it is again positive go to third option what about the third option the first quadrant so it is same as 0 to pi by 2 the argument is same as this 0 to pi by 2 so here 0 less than x less than pi by 2 1.57 as I explained here so 100 into x raised to 9 is obviously positive and in the first quadrant again cos x is greater than 0 therefore f dash x is here also greater than 0 and therefore this is also not the required value so option d none of this is the required option for which the function is decreasing fine you are given this function x square plus ax plus 1 on this domain you are asked to find the smallest value of a for which this is increasing that means its derivative is greater than 0 that is given to you so let me differentiate it 2x plus a here it is 1 so 2x plus a now in the question itself you are given that it's increasing as let me write f is increasing that's given to you strictly increasing yeah increasing on which domain 1 to 2 so its derivative has to be greater than 0 so 2x plus a should be greater than 0 so therefore x must be greater than minus a by 2 right but domain is this but what's the domain here domain is 1 to 2 here what's the meaning of this that means this should be minimum 1 getting me here it says that x should be more than minus a by 2 you just compare this x is greater than minus a by 2 here you are saying that x is more than 1 that means uh, you must have minus a by 2 equals to 1 at least this should be 1 minimum it should be 1 that means a should be minus 2 and therefore uh, you can say that the least value of a that's what you are asked minimum value of a should be minus 2 it should be minus 2 or more than minus 2 or you can take the least value as minus 2 understood as a strict sign fine again I have just compared this two this should be at least one got it so uh, here minus a by 2 uh, I have just compared with uh, what 1 here and therefore is this and therefore you can say that a has to be at least minus 2 now the middle questions you will try I'll because these are elementary for you now I'll go to last question 19 number that's a good question the, the function is x square into raised to minus x what is asked find the interval in which it is increasing so I'll differentiate it product rule x square as it is what's the derivative of this e raised to minus x into minus 1 by chain rule plus 
Now we raise to minus x as it is. Differentiation of x square is 2x. So what is common in this? e raised to minus x you will find common. x you will find common. So here you are left with how much? This is uh, minus x and here plus 2. Fine. So we have e raised to minus x. This is x and 2 minus x. This is, you know, never be 0, being exponential. In fact, it is always positive. You know, exponential function, e raised to minus x, being exponential, it is always positive. It never be 0. So here you have two values of x. If x is 0, then f dash x is 0 here. If x is 2, then again 0. So now have you realized how we'll continue with this question? This is 0, this is 2, so you have 3 domains, minus infinity to 0, 0 to 2, and 2 to infinity, 3 domains, this, this, and this. How many domains? 3 domains. One is this portion, the other one is this, and third one is this. And then you go as we did in the tabular form. Fine. So that much you can do. I wanted to do up to this only. This is like those polynomial questions. Prepare the table and try to complete it.